four by the Dodgers. Um, when did the transition of becoming a first baseman come along? Okay, and this is your 18th year playing baseball. Did you ever think that you'd spend 90% of your career in a White Sox uniform? Not a White Sox uniform. I mean, when I was drafted, I thought I'd be a Dodger uniform, but it certainly was uh, one of my goals to spend a lot of time with, with a team in the big leagues, you know, one team, but it just happened to work out that I was here. Uh, did you ever think you'd make your claim to fame playing baseball? Uh, to a certain degree. I mean, uh, you know, when I was in high school and, you know, 13, 14 years old, it was definitely my dream to want to do it. So, uh, you know, it's tough. You know, the odds are against you, but, um, yeah, it was what I set out to do. Yeah, you were one of the main veterans and mentors on this team. So who was your mentor when you first started out? Um, like I said, I came up with uh, the Dodgers. So I had guys like Eric Carros, Mike Piazza, uh, Tom Prince. A lot of guys. I was, I was very lucky to have a lot of uh, good people around me coming up to the big leagues. What's the one piece of career advice that they gave you that sticks with you from day to day? Any one of those players that you just mentioned? Um, I mean, the main thing is probably just how to work and the preparation. Um, that uh, the consistency of that every day and, and your routines is, is what's going to get you through. Okay, and if you could be on like any major league team, like the 1904 Yankees or 1974 Athletics, what kind of team? Would you, kind of a fun question. Probably a team like in the 70s of some kind. You know, just because it seemed so wild back then with everything going on, and just yeah, you know, just you know. Like the Oakland A's or something, yeah. the 70s, pricing like yeah, that. Yeah, three years in a row. Um, what's the best part, in your opinion, about the White Sox and the city of Chicago in general? Well, I think uh, the city, for me, you know, I don't think there's a better city once the weather gets warm, you know, from about May or June on. You know, we get a chance to go to all the, all the cities around the country, and yeah. uh, I don't think you know, laying it out, there's a better city yeah. in the summertime. Uh, so that's just from a standpoint of entertainment and just having a good time within the city. Um, they, treat, they treat their players well here. Um, you know, it's, it's a tough city, it's not, but it's not, I don't think it's New York or Boston either. I think the, the fans are, you know, good Midwestern people that uh, are great people and, you know, um, you just get a sense of that as a player. It's just different from the East Coast or yeah. the West Coast. It's just it's its own thing, and um, you know, like I said, they treat all their sports players well, and they, they they're demanding of them, but they treat them well as well. And that being said, what's your favorite ballpark besides the Sol to play at, to visit the city? Um, you know, I, I like the city of Seattle. I think that's a great city. Yeah. Um, I like the stadium there. You know, I mean, as far as stadiums go, I mean, there's some you like to play in um, necessarily uh, that you might not like the city as much or, or for those reasons, but I mean, I, I like hitting in Cleveland, like hitting in New York. Um, you know, those are stadiums you see the ball well, but as far as cities, you know, I definitely like um, Seattle. I think that's probably my favorite city on the road. If you could trade the lives with one current Chicago athlete for a day, who would it be? A current player? Yes, or? current. Um, Probably, uh, probably John Taves. Yeah, what's the reason? I'm a big hockey fan, so yeah. it's going to be someone that's a hockey player. I'm not a, it's going to be a hockey player, just is, so I forget to pick him. Is he your favorite Blackhawk? I wouldn't necessarily say that. Um, he just came to mind first, and I think he's a yeah. great player. I think he's you know, yeah. one of the and, best two-way players, for sure. And yeah. former athlete, former Chicago athlete that you would trade lives with? Um, man, uh... I'd have to say, um, I think everybody would probably want to be Jordan, yep. you know, see what that was like. Um, right. But yeah, I would say Jordan or, again, probably another hockey player like Stan McKee or somebody. Um, out of all your years of playing, which is the athlete that comes to mind the most uh, that you've gotten to know over the years on a personal level? Um, in, in baseball or any sport? Where we, baseball. The, um, I mean, I think, um, you know, I played 11 years with Mark Burley, 
So I, I probably, you know, that was the longest I played with anybody. So you get to know people well when you play with them that long. Um, it's just honestly too many to count how many people you get to know in this game when you play it for a long time. There's a lot of comings and goings, and um, that's what makes the game. It's just you know just the, the relationships you have with yeah. people. You know the World Series team we had here. You know there's guys that you never you just know you're gonna have a connection with forever, and um, that's what makes it great. That's what, that's what mm -hmm. makes it you know, if you stop playing, it just kind of never ends. You know. Uh, what are you gonna miss most about this team when you retire? Um, you know, I mean, probably just, I mean, definitely the city and, you know, every player knows at some point you have to stop playing and you get old, old enough to where you're just, it's, it's time to stop and it's, it's time to go do other things. Uh, and, and you understand that. Uh, but I definitely will miss uh, the city and being here a lot because I think this city is great. And, uh, you know, I think you also just miss those moments, uh, not so much playing the game, but mm -hmm. hanging out with the teammates on the plane, on the bus. Um, you know, it's just, you get to play a kid's game for a living, so, um, you know, I think uh, you'll miss, people miss that the most, and I'm sure I'll miss it just as much. Uh, how do you think Jose Abreu has been doing this year? Kind of filling your shoes in a sense. Fantastic. I mean, uh, couldn't have gone any better. I mean, he's a great guy, works hard. Um, you know, uh, happy to see it, uh, him do well. I mean, like I say, he's a good person. Uh, you want to see good people do well. And uh, he's, I think it's just the first year in many good ones. And last question, who's your favorite White Sox of all time? Favorite White Sox of all time? Um, I would probably have to say... Uh, Probably, I don't know, I mean, it, that's a tough one. I just, either someone I played with, you know, um, again, like a Mark Burley, a John Garland, or somebody that I got to know mm -hmm. when looking back on the history of the White Sox. Um, you know, I would say, probably like a Minnie Minoso. Yeah. Minnie's, Minnie's, I got to know him a little bit, and he's a legend. Uh, and there's a... Uh, there's a, there's a lot of them you get to know over the years. There's a lot of different functions that played in the 60s and 70s. And there's a lot of tradition there. And to be in line with that tradition and know that you're just one of those guys and that there'll be more after you, but you kind of kept the train moving. That's uh, it's definitely something I'm honored by. All right. Thank you so much.